Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. As usual, we go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about Wallenberg lateral medullary syndrome. During this presentation, we will approach successively the definition of the syndrome, anatomical remainder of the posterior inferior cerebellar artery, PICA, the different structure provided by the artery, vestibular nucleus, nucleus ambiguous, thalamic trigeminal tract, descending sympathetic tract, inferior cerebellar peduncle, symptom related to each structure, the diagnosis and the treatment. Lateral medullary syndrome or Wallenberg syndrome or posterior inferior cerebellar artery pica syndrome and vertebral artery syndrome. The syndrome is due to ischemia of the lateral part of the medulla obligata in the brain stem. The blockage must commonly occur in the vertebral artery or the posterior inferior cerebellar artery pica. As a remainder of the circle of Willis, the anterior carotid system in red and the posterior vertebral system in green. Yellow are communicant artery between them. Today we are interested especially in PICA, posterior inferior cerebral artery and vertebral artery. In other ways, anterior cerebr cerebral artery, middle cerebral artery, and posterior cerebral artery. On the other hand, here is the posterior inferior cerebral artery, anterior inferior cerebellar artery, and superior cerebellar artery. Here are the area of ischemia in sagittal view and in posterior view. Sagittal view, midbrain, cone, and here is the medulla, and pica is the area of ischemia with the vertebral artery. In the posterior view, it's the same. We have here anterior inferior cerebral artery, but the ischemia is in the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. Different structures are provided by PICA. The first one is the inferior cerebellar pedoncle. The second one is the nucleus ambiguous. The third one is the vestibular nucleus. And three tracts, spinothalamic tract, trigeminal tract, and descending sympathetic tract. C structure, inferior cerebellar peduncle, nucleus ambiguous, vestibular uh, nucleus, three tract, spinothalamic tract, trigeminal tract, and descending sympathetic tract. In other ways, vestibular nucleus, nucleus ambiguous, inferior cerebellar peduncle, and three tract, the spinothalamic tract, the trigeminal tract, and the descending sympathetic tract. The nucleus ambiguous is responsible for hoarseness, dysphagia, and loss of gag reflex. The spinothalamic tract is responsible of control lateral body loss of pain and temperature. An inferior cerebellar peduncle is responsible of ataxia. Descending sympathetic tract is responsible of Horner syndrome, 
apoptosis, meiosis, and hydrosis. Trigeminal tract is responsible of ipsilateral uh, loss of pain in temperature of the face. And vestibular nuclear tract is responsible of vertigo and vomiting. I repeat. Inferior cerebellar pedoncule is for ataxia. Vestibular is for vertigo and nystagmus and vomiting. And nucleus ambiguous is for hoarseness, dysphagia, and loss of reflex. Of gag reflex. Three tracts the spinothalamic tract, control lateral pain and temperature. Three geminal tract, ipsilateral pain and temperature of the face. And a descending sympathetic for Hornet syndrome, ptosis, nystagmus, and hydrosis. Remember, six structure, six structure, three track, descending sympathetic is about Horner, spinothalamic is contralateral body pain and temperature, and trigeminal is about ipsilateral for the face pain and temperature. For nucleus ambiguous hostness, dysphagia, and loss of gag reflex. For vestibular nucleus, is about vertigo, nystagmus, and voltimitinesia, and for inferior cerebellar pedoncule, is about ataxia. Lateral medullary syndrome, or Wernbeer syndrome, is caused by a stroke. The diagnostic is time-dependent. Diagnosis is usually done by assessing vestibular-related symptoms, to determine where in the medulla the infarction occurs. Oculomotor function, nystagmus test of skew, CT scan and MRI to detect the stroke, rule out a concussion. Stroke is an issue of time. 25 minutes to make CT done. 45 minutes to have the result of the lab, and 60 minutes to start TPA bolus. 25 minutes, city done. 45 minutes, lapse. 60 minutes, start TPA bolus. Wallenberg syndrome, think about ischemia of PICA. Posterior inferior cerebellar artery in the medulla and vertebral artery. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. Would you like to, like to click the like button and subscribe? Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.